Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Jack, do you want to see a picture of my new puppy? Sure. I thought people only showed off pictures of their new babies, not new pets. Well, this is my new baby. He's just as much trouble. That's for sure. But, he's a lot of fun. I see what you mean. He's really cute. How old is he? I'm going to the park to play baseball with the guys. But you promised to play chess with me this afternoon. Yeah, but that was before the guys asked me to join the team. So what? You know how much I want to be on the team, and now there is an opening for me. If I don't go to practice today, they'll get someone else and I'll miss my chance. I don't care about baseball. You know I need to practice for the chess championship and you promised to help with me if I washed the dishes for you last Sunday, and I did. I know, and I will. When? After baseball practice. And then, it'll be dinner time, then homework, and then your show is on. You are going to break your promise. No, I won't. I'm going to skip TV tonight and work on your chess game with you if that's okay with you. Well, I'd rather do it the way we set up. But if you promise to give me your best game, it's okay with me. No problem. I'll play as hard as I can and give you an extra game to say thanks. Where are you going to spend your holidays this year, Harry? We may go abroad. I'm not sure. My wife wants to go to Egypt. I'd like to go there, too. We can't make up our minds. Will you travel by sea or by air? We may travel by sea. It's cheaper, isn't it? It may be cheaper, but it takes a long time. I'm sure you will enjoy yourselves. Don't be so sure. We may not go anywhere. My wife always worries too much. Who's going to look after the dog? Who's going to look after the house? Who's going to look after the garden? We have tea. Allison, would you like to have some more? No thanks. I have had enough. Actually you haven't have much. To tell you the truth, I am on the diet. That sounds ridiculous. Why? Well, I am gaining weight these days, and I have to watch my calories. Hi, John. How was your vacation? We went to Malaysia and Thailand. That must have been wonderful. Do anything interesting? Well, we went bungee jumping when we were in Malaysia. Wow, isn't that dangerous? A little, but the rush was worth it. Tell me about it. We jumped off a bridge and fell 500 feet before the bungee cord caught us. 500 feet? I would never be able to do that. Yeah. It was scary but exhilarating. What do you think of the coming match? Winning is a piece of cake to me. You are bragging again. How could you handle living in such a big family? Does everyone get along? Sure. We love each other and take care of each other. In such a big family, there must be a head. Who's the head of your family? My grandpa. He has the final word about almost everything. My grandpa is president, and grandma is vice president. My parents, 
uncles and aunts try to arrive at a consensus on important questions. Is a family like yours common in South Korea? No, not anymore. Mine is highly educated but traditional family. Most South Korea families today are a lot smaller. In traditional families, the old people are well respected and taken good care of. Ho. My family setup is a bit different. In New York City, there are only three people, my mother, my stepfather and me. During this summertime, I fly out to California and live with my dad. Dad's getting. Of course there'll be a room for you. To be blunt, maybe I won't be able to get along with his new wife or her kids. Yours as a modern family. I'm sure your dad loves you and would want you to stay for the summer. You just need to try your best to get along with your new stepmother and her boys. But four boys. It will be a new experience, and you might as well learn to adjust to changes. You are right, I guess. The world keeps changing, and so do families. But I like a small-sized or medium-sized family where everybody is equal to everybody else. That's what I want. It is good to have goals in life. If California doesn't work out, come and visit me in Korea, okay? That's a great idea. We could share a room. It would be fun. And we could do some traveling around Korea. You could see for yourself what life in a big family is like. That sounds like an excellent offer. I might take you up on that. Thank you for the wonderful invitation. Mike's going to have a self-driving traveling across the country. Really? He is so great. You don't want to join him? Surely I want. It's quite popular nowadays. Yes, and I want to have a try. Your knowledge of English is really surprising. Oh, it's nothing to speak of. No, seriously. I'm impressed. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Jim and you are bosom friends, aren't you? I wouldn't say so. What do you mean? Well, I thought he was, but he ends up to be a con man. Hey, you're early. Where's everyone? Well, I told them not to come. I made a reservation just for the two of us. I thought we could have a quiet evening all to ourselves. Oh, why? Jennifer, there's something I want to ask you. Sure. What is it? Hmm, okay. Here's the thing. I've always seen you as more than just a friend, and I can't take it anymore. I know you better than anyone. I know the pros and cons of your personality. I even know what side of the bed is yours. I think we would be great together, don't you? Are you serious? We've been friends for years. We can't just change that overnight. I know. I never had the guts to tell you until today. So, what do you say? Are you willing to give me a shot? I, I. Good morning, Jerry. How's everything? Fine. Just fine. Thanks. Doing anything for lunch? Well, as a matter of fact, I've got a lunch date with Bob Thomas. Something wrong? Yes. My car is having problems. What's wrong? It won't start. Do you want me to take a look? No, thank you. I think I can handle it. 
Well, if you change your mind, let me know. I will. Thanks. That's sweet of you. No problem. I might need some tools though. Do you know where I can get some? Sure. I have all kinds of tools. Just ask. I'll be happy to get them for you. Thanks. That would be very helpful. Anything for you. Seriously, I don't mind helping. Okay. If you really insist, I could always use the company. John dates her seven times a week. Really? That's a straws in the wind. I think so. Maybe he's fallen for her. Yeah, they suit each other. A perfect match between a man and a girl. What time is our connecting flight? Let me check. Oh, oh, it's at 3.25. Wow, that's cutting it close. That means we only have 25 minutes to make the connection. What gate is it at? It's at gate 14. Oh, great. That's at the other end of the terminal. Okay, so here's the plan. When we land, run to gate 14. I'm be right behind ya. Oh, George, what a beautiful day it is today. The sun is hot and there are just a few clouds scattered here and there. What a perfect day to be at the beach. The kids are going to have so much fun. And we'll be able to relax in the sun while they're playing. It does seem like the perfect day. I'm glad we chose to get out of the city and enjoy the nice weather. This looks like the perfect spot. Okay kids, put on your sunscreen while your mom and I set up camp. Here, Mary, help me lay down these beach towels. There we go. Can you help me with the umbrella? Perfect. Okay kids, here's a beach ball and a frisbee, a pail and a shovel. I want to see an impressive sandcastle by the time we leave. Don't stray too far. Wait, leave your sandals here or put on your wet shoes. And stay in the shallow area. I don't want to see you go any farther than that sandbar. It's too deep out there and we didn't bring your floatier. You're back already? The water was too cold, huh? I'll tell you a secret. Do you see that small pool of water over there? It'll be warmer in there. Go see if you can find some seashells or catch some minnows. What is that? A jellyfish? Jeremy, put that down right now. It could sting you. Ah, not on me. Ow. What's the area of your country? It's not very big. It's a little over half a million square kilometers. That sounds quite big. How many people live there? There are about 30 million people in my country. Most of them live in the north. What's the average income? That's the really hard to say. I think most people earn about $2,000 a month, if you convert the money from our currency into dollars. So your country is fairly rich. I think we are richer than most countries, but not as rich as countries in Western Europe. Our biggest problem at the moment is unemployment, which is roughly 8%. It has doubled over the last four years. Unemployment in my country is a fraction of that. It is too bad today. What happened? My psalm was lost. I told him to stand rooted to the spot when I went shopping, but he ignored it. How did you find him at last? It was the police who helped me to do that. It must have taught you a lesson this time.
You're going to set up your own law office, aren't you? Yes. After so many years of hard work, I'd rather I had an office of my own. If you need help, don't hesitate to ask me. I'll be very glad if you would help. I'd like to wish you every success in your new venture. Thank you. I wish I would. Good luck to you. Could you do me a favor? Please give me some confidential information. Don't put me on the spot. You know, I can't do that. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.